Hey there. In this instructional video, we're going to go over the Acumeth Instant Methamphetamine Residue Test. The Acumeth test and kit will help you to determine whether or not a specific area is contaminated with methamphetamine in as little as just five minutes. Before we go over the sample collection and extraction process and the test procedure itself, let's go ahead and post up our sample template in the one area to be tested. For posting your sample template, you'll want to go ahead and label your template. Here you can see I'm labeling this one closet. Also number your template. So here I'm numbering this one sample number one and detail the date. Use the stickers provided to attach the template to the testing surface. So here you can see I am putting one sticker at the top of the template and another sticker at the bottom of the template. And now we can post the template by attaching it to the non-porous surface to be tested. Now that we've got our sample template posted, let's go ahead and throw in our nitrile gloves so that we can get into the sample collection and extraction process. Okay, now that we have our nitrile gloves on, place the test and all test components out on the supplied wax paper. Open the meth extraction buffer bottle and put the open bottle aside on the wax paper, exercising care not to spill the liquid buffer. Place the cap adjacent to the bottle. Remove the gauze wipe from its packaging and hold it in one hand. Use the pipette, which looks similar to a mini turkey baster, to draw the meth extraction buffer into the pipette. When you've done this, you want to hold the pipette tip slightly up so that the buffer does not drip out. In your other hand, fold the gauze wipe in half and carefully add 10 drops of buffer to it, moistening it evenly throughout. Now, with your folded, moistened gauze wipe in hand, go to your posted sample template to take the sample. Wipe the test surface within the area of the template in a tight, zigzag, WZW fashion. So for the first wipe, we are going to move up and down in a W style. Then for the second wipe, we are going to move from side to side horizontally in a Z fashion. And for the last pass, we're going to turn the gauze over and again, move in a tight up, down, W fashion. Now we can return to our wax paper and test kit. Tightly roll up the gauze wipe. Now pick up the syringe and remove the plunger from the syringe and then insert the rolled up gauze wipe slowly down into the syringe barrel. Reinsert the plunger and push down on the plunger to expel all of the liquid from the gauze wipe into the extraction buffer bottle. When you're doing this, be careful not to spill the sample outside of the bottle or let the bottle tip over. We want to keep the liquid in the buffer bottle. Now we are going to draw the expelled liquid back into the syringe by pulling up on the plunger and push down the plunger to expel the liquid into the buffer bottle. We are going to repeat this two more times for a total of three times. So let's pull up on the plunger again and push down on the plunger to expel the liquid into the buffer bottle. And we are going to repeat this a third and final time, drawing up the plunger of the syringe and then pushing back down on it to expel the liquid back into the buffer bottle. The sample is now ready for testing. Now let's perform the test procedure. Remove the test cassette from the foil pouch and place it on your wax paper. Pipette up the extracted sample, holding the pipette tip slightly up as to not spill the buffer. We're going to add four drops and only four drops of the buffer to the sample well, which is the circular area on the cassette. Once you've added your four drops to the test cassette, set a manual timer or a timer on your smartphone for 10 minutes. You want to read the test results after five minutes has passed, but not after 10 minutes. To interpret the results of our test, we are going to look at the two lines that may or may not be present on the test cassette. 
The first line that should be present is the C or control line. The MET or MET line is the meth residue line and that is the line we will be comparing with the supplied line intensity card. The sample can be considered negative for methamphetamine residue if the MET or MET line is visible with an intensity of 8 or more. The sample can be considered positive for methamphetamine residue if the MET or MET line has an intensity of 7 or less or is not present at all. Note that the lighter the MET line, the more meth residue that may be present. Our sample can be considered negative for methamphetamine residue. When you're done, be sure to dispose of your nitrile gloves along with all remaining items by placing them in the bag provided and throwing that bag away. Acumeth does not require hazardous waste disposal, so you can be sure it will be totally fine throwing it in any kitchen or household garbage can. Thank you for watching this video and best of luck with your methamphetamine testing.